I wanted to tell you how proud I am of the way you've handled this very difficult situation. Unless you're the last team standing, anytime your season ends, you're going to be disappointed. However, I don't think any of us could have imagined our season ending the way it did. Every one of us expected to be competing for a Pac-12 championship on the way to a postseason berth with dreams of returning to Omaha. That being said, I'm so proud of the progress that we made in such a short period of time. We as a staff were determined to challenge you by taking a roster with only two returning starters, a completely new rotation, a new closer, and two new coaches on the road against two veteran postseason teams for our first seven games, and you answered that challenge. Our goal was to get our legs underneath us and be battle-tested by the time Pac-12 play began, and I think we did that. We were ready to go when we got on the bus with expectations of winning our opening Pac-12 series at USC. Our rotation was set, we had found a closer, we had settled in on defense, and we were coming off a nine-hit win at home. You had answered our challenge, you were ready for Pac-12 play. Instead, like everyone else in college baseball, we are left to wonder what might have been, and that's difficult. Let's be grateful that we were able to prepare together, suffer together, learn together, and succeed together. Let's remember what many I know have described as the furthest ball they've ever seen hit out of Blair Field by Christian Jones. Let's remember Braden Ward making the steal in the second and third base look absolutely routine. Let's remember the rise of Noah Sue and the way he fought back from the season-ending injury in 2019. And let's remember how every time Jack Anger and Stevie took the mound, we all expected to win. And let's not forget the intensity that Davis brought to the bump every time we asked him to finish it. Now all of the above will not erase the heartbreak. However, like the game itself, it has given us perspective. It's reminded us about how lucky we are to play this game at all, and how lucky we are to have been able to play it together. We owe it to ourselves and all those close to us to learn how to live in the moment and enjoy the journey, no matter how long or how short. And even though this year's journey was by all accounts far too short, I will always be grateful for your effort, your attitude, and your energy. And I'm counting the days until we get back on the field together. Go dogs.